What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations. Last time, we were in the prison hallway in between the holding cell and the prison when we ran into Prosecutor DeBest and the Honorable Justine. And we're trying to pry some information out of them. It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. But the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. So, that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard, isn't it obvious who brought and used the murder weapon? What, you can't wear gloves? You're wearing gloves. At least it's clearer than his last testimony. It's the best reasoning you can get from Prosecutor the best. How do you like that? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, the best. You're the best, the best, the best. Now he's mixing up the best with his own name. But could someone really hide a weapon inside a gift sent to a prisoner? <laughs> You'll find a good place if you examine the inside of the chessboard. Is there some place to hide a weapon? Well, yeah, where you keep the pieces. Open! As I thought, there are only chess pieces inside. <laughs> what an annoying laugh. Inside the chessboard, huh? Perhaps I should examine it a bit further. I bet it's inside the felt then. If we, if we can pull out the felt. Oh, or there's a false panel. Oh, the top panel is removable. It's quite deep. Yes, there's more than enough room to hide a small knife. Understand now? This is how the culprit smuggled in the... <laughs> What's with the hoomph? I wasn't even finished. Mr. DeBest is the bestest. There is something you've forgotten. There's a gate at the entrance of the detention center. Eh? Well, there is, but... He means the security gates with the metal detector, Sebastian. We had to pass through the same check when we entered the prison, remember? Ah, yeah, that's it! I remember now. It looks like he completely forgot. It would be impossible to smuggle a sharp metal object into the detention center. Therefore, your reasoning never held, even from the very beginning. That gate is only used on people. In other words, packages sent to the detention center undergo a simpler check. So they don't use a metal detector for that? This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. That's weird because it's typically the other way around. The easiest way to smuggle in anything anywhere is typically on your person because packages, like at an airport, get x-rayed the crap out of, and then they have no problem ripping it open and examining every inch of it. Just fun fact. At least in the US, anyways. This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. Chessboard data updated in my organizer. Portable folding chessboard belongs to nightly. There is hidden space inside the chessboard. Okay. Right, Justine. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Now then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, your cross-examination if you please. It's as if we were in the courtroom. Very well, his reasoning. Let's see how long it will hold up under pressure. Under pressure! It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. Hold it! A sharp metal object? Do we have proof of that? Didn't you see the victim's wound, worthless prosecutor? The fatal blow was a stab to the throat. And a knife perfectly matches up with that. There could be no other explanation. Hmm. It seems they don't know about that piece of information. Wait, 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 what information? What information? Why? Nothing to say? Speechless. Uh, speechless. Speechless, aren't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Right. Next. There's plenty more to my reasoning. 
but the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. Even with the strict control, there are still some items that can be used, right? Well, yeah. Things like grooming scissors. Of course, there's more to this, right, Sebastian? Exactly! At the time of the incident, only one was being borrowed. But there was no reaction when we tested it for blood. Those would be the scissors Mr. Sowit was practicing uh, with. So the inside of the prison was completely clear of sharp implements. So, that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Can you be more specific about where it came from? Of course I can! It didn't come from inside the prison! It's true, he did narrow down one thing. Is he trying to sound smart? Simon Keys brought it in. That's what we mean. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you even figure that much out? I'm disappointed in you. And you've disappointed me from the start. So, Simon brought the murder weapon, but how, you ask? Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. No weapon was found at the crime scene, not even inside the chessboard. So where did the murder weapon disappear to? I'd like to hear your answer to that. That's... Well, after the crime, the culprit must have hidden it somewhere in the prison. Is there a problem with the statement Devest just made? Is... I, is there? I don't know. I'm not following. Edgeworth, you're ahead of me on this one. The murder weapon is hidden inside the prison. I don't think so. It's clear from this piece of evidence. Oh no! What shows that the murder weapon can't be inside the prison? I don't know why. Oh, X-rays? Cameras? Security gate? Uh, where? That's your proof? No, wait, why did I even do that? He just, they just explained that the packages can go and find, oh. God, why did I even do that? Well, at least the punishment is small. I was just t testing, making sure he knows that it couldn't have been that. You know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What do we even have to work with here? Hmm. Ooh, the emulator's acting up here. Might have to change with the sound buffer. That's kind of scary. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's that's no good at all. Okay, I had to play with the settings a little bit. I was, yeah. I don't know what the, the reason for that is. It's always tricky trying to figure out these emulators. Okay. Uh, evidence, evidence. Right, right, right. We're looking at the evidence to prove him wrong that the weapon could not have been there. I don't know why yet. So I just need to examine absolutely everything. Open the door for animals out of the prison can't move freely. Roll call 3 a.m. Body was off out of down. There's a black dog. There's a bracelet. It was broken. Do not respond to sensors. Mr. Bennett and Warren Roller searched the entire prison, but did not find the murder weapon! I forgot I even had this piece of paper. Take that. Have you completely forgotten your own actions? You, along with Warden Roland, conducted a search of the prison. But you did not find the murder weapon, right? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. That's... We must have overlooked something. This guy just completely contradicted himself. You carried out such a sloppy investigation? I'm amazed that you call yourself the best, the best, just... Are you mocking me? Sebastian. Please calm yourself. Don't get caught up in the opponent's face. I'm fine, Justine. Did you really think the best prosecutor would be shaken by someone miles behind him? <laughs> I wish he'd stop messing around with other people's names. Oh, in that case, Kay Faraday is far, far ahead. That was so shitty, Kay. Why are you even still here? Go back and train somewhere else, Kay. You've outlived your use. If my best investigation didn't find anything, then there must not have been a single weapon in the prison. 
In that case, there's only one possibility. The criminal must have taken the murder weapon with him when he left the prison. Ah, oh, but he can't, because the sensor! We just talked about the sensor, so it's only natural we didn't find it there, yeah. There was no way the culprit could have brought the weapon out of the prison. And this piece of evidence shows why now we can present the... Not that one. Security gate! Have you completely forgotten your own testimony 30 seconds ago, idiot? The worstest. That's twice you've insulted me. Oh, it seems you remember what I said earlier. But you do well to remember further than that. What is that? This guy. He really doesn't remember anything. It seems that way. The detention center and the prison are equipped with security gates. Anyone leaving must pass through these gates. Gates equipped with metal detectors. That's what you... Looks like he remembers now. Yes. There's no way someone could have brought the murder weapon through those gates. And so, the criminal could not have taken it out of the prison either. <laughs> so then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you know where this murder weapon went to? Perhaps the weapon is still inside the prison? But we couldn't find it anywhere in the prison. The reason you didn't find it... is because you believed it to be a sharp metal object. We saw the very moment when Mr. Knightley was attacked after all. If you can say that much, then perhaps you could enlighten us? What would you say is the murder weapon in this case? The dog! From this piece of evidence, the murder weapon of this case becomes obvious. Ah, the videotape! VHS! VHS present! Here is footage from a security camera. It shows one of the cells in the detention center. See it with your own eyes! Shh, I have special eyes. A ghost! What? This is... It can't be! Couldn't be, then who? This tape clearly shows the moment the victim was attacked by a black dog. I believe this is the sufficient proof, wouldn't you say? Indeed, this is vital evidence. Horace Knightley was killed in the detention center by that dog. After that, the body was moved to the prison workroom. Our witness claims to have seen a dog in the workroom when the body was found. Of course, a dog couldn't have planned this crime on its own. But there is someone who could have. That's enough, Prosecutor Edgeworth. It's true this camera footage is vital evidence. But there is something else you must prove. Actually, you've already noticed it, haven't you? just as she says. There's still a huge flaw in my reasoning. If that black dog is a prisoner's pet, how was it able to move between the detention center and the prison? What will we do, Miss Three? I still don't know how the dog managed to move from one place to the other. I knew it. What? You're one to talk. You don't know either. If you do not solve this mystery, I'm afraid I cannot accept your logic. If this was a real courtroom, I would call for a recess now. But the kitty kind, where we go on the swing sets. And play in the sandbox. Wait, I'm not finished yet. Court has been adjourned. Leave at once! This isn't a courtroom? Yes. Damn wench. Well then, as I said, court is adjourned. I can't prove my argument, but isn't it the same case with Mr. Keys? Whatever do you mean? Just as I don't know how the dog entered the detention center. You also don't know how Simon Keys entered the detention center and prison. Although he came to visit the victim, he was an outsider to the prison. Stop saying prison. Don't you think it would be difficult for him to commit a crime inside- STOP SAYING PRISON! Judge Courtney, now the burden of proof lies with you in the prison. Show us evidence that Simon Keys entered the prison. Overruled. Starting to really piss me off, Edgeworth. Ha ha, prison. You want me to present evidence? I'm happy to oblige. Does she really have evidence? It's about time I told you. 
now that I know the basis of your reasoning, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What is she thinking? It seems you don't even know Simon Keyes' real occupation. He is a circus performer. Circus performer? Yes. Have you ever heard of the Berry Big Circus? You're damn right I have. Oh! But of course, yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Did you have some kind of important meeting? <laughs> oh, heavens no, I despise meetings. It was the animal show, of course. It seems you've realized. On the day of the incident, an animal show was being performed at the prison. And the show was put on by the Barry Big Circus. So then, do you mean Simon is... Simon Keyes entered the prison as a staff member on the animal show. Of. That we know for a fact. Ungu. This woman. She's been concealing this fact the whole time. She only planned to reveal it after hearing my reasoning. Come to think of it. What are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that. Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. But shouldn't you get to the d best part first? Mr. D best was going to say it then, but she stopped him. Well, Luigi number one, how do you like that worthless prosecutor? You didn't do anything. Well then, now it really is time for a recess. I'll end with some advice. I had already doubted your abilities as a prosecutor. Which is why I relieved you of your authority. You'd best not forget that. What the fuck did you say to me? What are you trying to say? The PIC can still take away your badge. If you value your badge, I advise you not to show your face before me again. Is that a threat? You want a showdown? You want a Shaolin showdown? The Goddess of Law is merciful, but that doesn't mean you can get away with everything. And one more thing. I must digress. I suggest you stop this defense attorney act. That's none of your damn business. I don't intend to abandon a case I am involved in so easily. For defense attorneys, our relationship of mutual trust with their clients is vital. It is very different from the way of the prosecutor. In any case, you didn't even know about your client's occupation. Well then, I must be going. May the blessings of the Goddess of Law be upon you. Good job, Uncle Ray! You didn't help at all! Uncle Ray didn't even help. Did Simon lie to us? It seems he lied to Uncle Ray, too. This complicates matters. Why do you do that? Hey, hey, Miles! Don't tell me you've got cold feet already. Courtney Pie is quite a handful, but... Giving up is still uncool. A defense attorney's creed is to never give up. Remember, you're my ass is tant. Of course I don't plan on giving up either. It's just... My theory that he couldn't enter the prison no longer holds. It looks like we'll have to investigate once more. To be continued. You can't go against the judge. Well then, I suppose I'll save the next episode for the, uh, tomorrow. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.